Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Wednesday, October 13th, 2021, the 28th week in Ordinary Time. And my name is Kevin DePass, and I am happy to be your leader of prayer this morning. And our readings today are taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans and the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us begin now a celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out your good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. You, O man, are without excuse. Every one of you who passes judgment, for by the standard by which you judge another, you condemn yourself, since you, the judge, do the very same things. We know that the judgment of God on those who do such things is true. Do you suppose then, you who judge those who engage in such things, and yet do them yourselves, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you hold his priceless kindness, forbearance, and patience and low esteem, unaware that the kindness of God would lead you to repentance? By your stubbornness and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourselves, for the day of wrath and revelation of the just judgment of God, who will repay everyone according to his works. Eternal life to those who seek glory, honor, and immortality, through perseverance and good works, but wrath and fury to those who selfishly disobey the truth and obey wickedness. Yes, affliction and distress will come upon everyone who does evil. Jew first, then Greek. But there will be glory, honor, and peace for everyone who does good. Jew first, and then Greek. There is no partiality with God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Only in God is my soul at rest. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed at all. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Only in God be at rest my soul. For from him comes my hope. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Trust in him at all times, O my people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to the Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to the love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! 
You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. In the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us now bring our cares and our concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will guide us all to curtail the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the created world, that we may promote respect for God's creation and cooperate with God's plan as creation is brought to fulfillment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. My friends, go in peace.